everyone, welcome back to Fluix's channel. Today's going to be a quick video going over how to get rid of pesky air bubbles stuck in your custom water cooling loop and the benefits of doing so. Let's go ahead and get started. So I was doing some maintenance on my custom water cool PC right over here and I noticed something. There was a pesky air bubble stuck in my CPU water block. Now air bubbles are pretty normal in water cooling loops but sometimes they can come up in the most inconvenient places, such as water blocks. Having air in your water blocks is not beneficial, but it is normal for air to be propagated in other components such as your radiators, your tubing, and the top of your reservoirs as air naturally rises. Now having air in these other components won't affect performance too much, but having air bubbles propagating in your water blocks will affect temperature, especially if air bubbles are propagating near the micro channels of your heatsink fins. Because to simply put it, air has a lower coefficient of heat transfer than water. A large enough air bubble over the heatsink fins of your water block can cause heat spikes and affect thermal performance, so it's best I work to get the air bubble out of my Tri-Swift water block. So as I stated before, air naturally rises. So if you're initially building your water cooling system, a good rule of thumb to avoid air bubbles and to have a more manageable system is to have your drain port and your pump at the lowest point of your system and to have a fill port and a radiator at the highest point of your system. That way all the air bubbles will come out to the top where the fill port is or get stuck at the top radiator and that way it won't affect the performance of your water blocks. So my wall mounted water cooling system here is not the best example. As you can see I have a top radiator and my fill port is actually lower than that top radiator and the water block and the radiator is kind of at the same height. So I wouldn't take this as the best example, it's probably why I got air bubbles in my water block. So to get the air bubbles out of your CPU and GPU water blocks, you'll need to go through a careful process of tilting your PC back and forth, side to side, to transition the air to another part of the system. Before doing this, I recommend you check all of your fittings to make sure that they are tight, so that you don't have any leaks. In some cases, you might have to lift up your full PC and turn it over to its side or even upside down to get air bubbles to transition to the highest point of the loop. Now in some cases lifting your PC and tilting it back and forth just doesn't work. If that's the case you can try another method that I'm showing over here. If you have soft tubing and you have some slack in your tubing you can go ahead and dismount your CPU water block off of your CPU and turn your water block upside down to get the air bubbles out. Now if you use this method make sure to go ahead and reapply new thermal paste when remounting the CPU water block back on. So what I'm doing over here is I'm removing the 24 pin off the motherboard so the CPU doesn't boot up. Then I went ahead and shorted the pins on the 24 pin so my pump continues to run. The flow rate from the pump will help me get the air bubble out of the CPU water block. I hope this video provided some type of insight to how to get rid of pesky air bubbles from your water blocks. If you like this type of content make sure to leave a like and subscribe to see more. And leave a comment below on what other water cooling tips you would like to see. See y'all.